and it's Elisa from Inside the Photo Box. I want to show you a quick tutorial on how to edit <clears throat> photos that are inside of a clipping mask in a grid like this, but inside of a clipping mask, and then show you how you can then make features like hands or feet hang over the clipping mask, and it's pretty easy. So let me just show you this. This is a quick, um, this is a quick view of a new holiday card and you'll see that the card has a, a star that you can turn on and off. It's got some Christmas lights, turn them on and off. You have editable text, the text you can change. You can see here that you can turn it off, turn it on, or you can even go to the font tab, click on whatever it is, whichever text you want to change, and you can write something new anything you want, and you can also change the text to something else. Well, you have to highlight it. Go back to highlighting it, and you can change the text. So everything here is editable. I'm just gonna go backwards because I do wanna keep the Christmas there for now. So the text can be changed. You can change them into your own language too, if it's English is not the language that you prefer. Uh, and then there are clipping masks. Let me just show you that there is no grid. Okay, this is the background. So the boxes are made out of clipping masks. I already filled in the clipping masks with some other pictures, but you'll notice here, if you see at the top one here, it says full for print. Okay, that is a photo. This is the, it goes to the top image. If I click off the word top, you'll see that the whole box just gets removed. Let me show you what it looks like. If you I right click on there, I can say release clipping mask and then the photo is released outside of the clipping mask. What you need to do is that anytime you want to place something inside a clipping mask, you place your photo, you import your photo, you place it on top of the box that you want to clip it to and then you right click on that box and you create a clipping mask. And that's really all that, that it takes to do. I'll show you one more thing, okay? I purposely left the boxes, the clipping masks, that I made with a stroke. What does a stroke do? The stroke creates the border that goes around the box. Let me click off the stroke here and you'll see that the border is gone, all right? And that just leaves a box in itself. Clicking it back on, but if you click on stroke, it opens up this layer style. And if you see here, you have to click on stroke right here. If you go to uh, the size, you can change the size of the stroke. You want to make that border even bigger, smaller, however you want to adjust it. And you can change the color of the border. So let's say you want it to be red. You want them all to be red. You want to have all different colors. I left it there for you so you can make that decision and it can be a highly customizable template. All right, I'm going to press cancel because I'm going to leave it as white. Um, but I want to show you one more feature and all of them are like this. So if you look here at this box, okay? See our, how our hand on the bottom, it's gonna be the bottom right. It's this one, okay? You see here that she, her hand is getting cut off by the mask. So she's bottom right. I'm going to just make it red so we can really see. All right, this is the picture that we're working with. I'm closing it off, and then you have your, your box, and that's it. Opening it back up, and there you go. Here's how you do it. Right now, this photo is clipped to bottom right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this photo, full for print 18 of 18, I'm going to just make a duplicate of it. All I did was drag it down to this little button here that makes a duplicate. I'm sure there's other ways of making duplicates. That's the way I do it. But you see now it's clipped. You see how there's an arrow, an arrow, and then bottom right? That means they're both clipped. I do not want it clipped. So I'm going to right click. I'm going to release the clipping mask. Now you can see that she's now hanging over the box, but I don't want that either. So this is your mask. I'm going to put a mask over it. It's a white mask, but I want the mask to be black. I want to totally black out this box. I'm going to press Command I. I'm on a Mac, so I pressed Command I. I believe on a PC it's Control I. And now I've masked out that photo so you can't see it anymore. 
going to press 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 bleh, I'm going to press the B button so it brings me up to my brush. I have a soft and I want there to be a white brush. I'm taking a soft white brush and I'm going to my and I'm going to just brush off the mask a little bit and bring her hand back. Okay? And that's really it. It's the whole thing. Now there's, of course, better ways. If I wasn't just going to brush it off, I could have um, selected it first, maybe, because now I still have a little bit in between. You know, I could have selected her hand and then put a mask over it. But that's basically it. I'm going to press the X button, bring it backwards, and I'm going to clean it up. Um, but basically, any way that you would select something, and mask it off is exactly what you would do. It's just about making a layer of your photo above the photo that you are, um, this is such a, a long way of doing it, I should have selected the hand and just put a mask right over it. Okay, um, I'm going to press X again, give myself a white mask so I can actually bring her fingers all the way out and over, just fine. I'm going to press X again. This is really the long way of doing it, but it's you know it's one way of doing it, so it's good enough for right now. Cleaning it up a little bit. Whoops. Command Z. Let's go backwards. I want to clean it up. Remember, this is a holiday card. People aren't going to look that hard at it, and it's looking pretty good to me. Um, if I was doing it for real, I probably would do it even a little bit more and add some shadows, but. You get the drift. That's how you add. That's how you add some hanging limbs that hang over using clipping masks. So that's it. Hope this was helpful to everyone, and thanks for watching.